Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, a little tool I created recently. Uh, it's to basically run Google searches with, um, but it utilizes all of the operators and parameters that you can use to uh, really narrow down a Google search and refine your results to make sure that you're getting the most accurate content that you're looking for. Um, and so the tool I use for this is called TextBlaze. You can get it at blaze.today um, or the Chrome Web Store. And right here, I'm just showing you kind of what that app looks like uh, and kind of how I built this specific tool. So right here, you're seeing kind of all of the, I guess, code. It's not really code. Uh, it's just kind of their, their code, but um, not really any actual programming involved. Um, it's just a text expansion app if you're familiar with them. But um, this one lets you do a few cool things that I'm going to show you in a second here that kind of help uh, make this tool so useful. So right here in the preview, um, you can see I've got like these little toggle boxes. Uh, and so these are all separate like operators for Google search that let you add different parameters. Um, so like adding specific text um, requirements so that, you know, you only want to see results with like certain text on that page or with, um, you know, like a certain URL path. So you only want to see like pages that have a certain string of text in the URL. And right here, I'll show you just a quick like preview of what actually gets generated into Google search when you use this. So we'll just fill out, you know, some random stuff. I think I'm doing cars right here and trucks. And I, you know, I want to, I don't want to see results with Volvo. So I put it after the hyphen. Uh, and I only want to see carfax.com results. Um, and then I only want to see pages that have uh, convertible uh, as typed text on the page. I don't want to see any pages that don't have convertible written. Um, and then these are some other ones like you have file type uh, and a couple others, but that's essentially what it generates, um, which is what you would, if you did this by hand, you would just be typing that into Google. But I understand not many people really take the time to learn the Google operators or search operators. So this makes it very easy to use. And so I'll show you right now what you could do, um, you know, in light of COVID-19 for trying to find, you know, maybe a job or something. I know that a lot of people are having some issues finding work. So I, I found this tool to be pretty useful in that regard. So right here, we're just doing a search for, um, you know, we'll just say you want to, you like to do software sales. So we have CRM software, um, and then we have the second search term as SaaS sales. Um, we have it set to uh, find account executive jobs and we don't want outbound sales. So we put outbound after the hyphen so that we, it's only inbound sales. And we also have it searched for account manager in addition to account executive since those are kind of um, you know, lateral positions to each other. And so you can see it populates it into Google search and now you just press search. And now you see all of these different job postings. So um, we have the URL set to only show pages that have slash careers in the URL, which as you, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with on uh, you know, any regular company website, kind of the typical setup is you have like the home page, the about page, and of course the careers page for any job posting. So, um, you know, this makes sure that when you search for a job using this tool, that if you do set those parameters, you're only going to see companies that have the careers page that have the job you're looking for in the industry that you want to find a job in. So, uh, I hope this helps some people. And if you're interested in actually using this tool, just send us a DM and I'll send you over the, uh, the template to get started with it. All right. Thanks guys.